Good afternoon, everybody. This is a live extreme weather briefing on Tropical Storm Beta that appears to be intensifying uh, based on satellite and radar. Uh, this is the uh, Radar Omega app right here, and uh, you can see there appears to be a uh, closed eye wall uh, now forming on this. Um, it, it's uh, time will tell if this is a long-term trend or if this is just temporary. It's also possible uh, that the uh, it's also very possible uh, that dry air could wrap into the circulation. Uh, time will only tell uh, if that becomes an issue, but it certainly does look like uh, here on radar uh, that it is uh, developing uh, what, what, what could be a, a, a closed circulation. Uh, the center has definitely formed further to the west, uh, directly underneath this blob of convection. Earlier, it was a very sheer tropical cyclone battling about 20 knots of westerly shear. Uh, that was when the center uh, earlier was further east. Uh, now hurricane reconnaissance aircraft has definitely confirmed that the circulation has formed further west beneath this blob of convection. And radar uh, shows a ring of convection that's wrapping all the way around the center. Uh, looks like there could even be an eye uh, forming on radar. And when we when you loop this, uh, it does a, a look like it's wobbling off to the west-southwest still, or at least off to the due west, uh, just slightly to the south. Uh, of the circulation so there is a chance uh, that this could be an organization trend time will tell uh, if this trend of strengthening continues and in fact even here on radar it looks like this ring of convection wrapping around the center might even be uh, uh, moving a bit further away doing the opposite of contracting uh, when the system is intensifying and the pressure in the middle uh, is decreasing that will cause uh, the eye wall to constrict and that's usually the sign of an intensifying circulation but this appears to be doing the opposite so it's possible that beneath that convective burst uh, you have surface pressures that dropped uh, causing this uh, uh, totally enclosed eye wall to form and then constrict a bit and now it looks like it could be doing the opposite and even begin uh, showing that, that maybe that was a temporary trend in intensification nevertheless though i'm going to be watching radar satellite and data from hurricane reconnaissance aircraft throughout the day today. And if this intensification uh, trend continues, then I'm definitely gonna have to head down uh, to the Texas coast to intercept this tomorrow. Uh, but right now I'm just uh, uh, monitoring this uh, very closely because it does look like there is an organization trend happening on radar and on satellite. Here I'm gonna pull up the satellite imagery and you can see that that circulation is directly underneath that convective burst that we've been watching. And in fact, it looks like there could even be uh, some overshooting tops uh, underneath that band, uh, which precedes this circulation a bit. So we're just going to have to see if uh, this organization trend can outweigh the dry air that is trying to wrap into the circulation. Uh, if there is a lot of dry air out there, it can wrap in and then cause a degradation of this uh, inner core uh, with the hurricane. But one thing I'm noticing right now is that this is a uh, vertically stacked uh, hurricane the low level center is right about there uh, the mid and upper level uh, rotation is also located up here uh, it's vertically stacked with the convection and this is a more favorable configuration for intensification than that strongly sheared system as it was battling those uh, 20 knot uh, winds at the mid and upper levels uh, that was causing uh, the convective burst to get sheared way off to the east of the center and that would expose the low level center and lead to a tilted tropical cyclone uh, but this one definitely is more vertically uh, stacked now. And this is why I wanted to do a, another live update uh, with this new uh, development. Uh, because it does look like uh, this system could be organizing quite a bit. Let's go back to the visible satellite. And this really shows the organization trend. Uh, the old center uh, was located here, uh, well to the east of this new convective burst. And now we have this... Uh, well-defined convective plume uh, and the, the low-level center is contained within radar supports that it does uh, appear to be organizing with that convection wrapping all the way around the center in an enclosed eye uh, but radar also shows that that eye wall uh, looks to be uh, moving apart just a bit and expanding uh, which would show that those surface pressures could be rising just a little bit and this convective burst and uh, re latest organization trend could be temporary However, you can see these streamers wrapping in here in the low levels. Uh, it looks like uh, this inner core is expanding off to the southwest, which would tell me that this is winning out over the dry air that's located out ahead of it. So this hurricane could be carving out a little pocket of uh, favorable environmental conditions uh, within uh, that dry air as the dry air wraps around 
and that pocket could be large enough uh, to even sustain uh, intensification within this. But this is the visible satellite showing a vertically stacked system. Uh, this looks a lot different than that strongly sheared system when it had an exposed low level center tilting up with height uh, back to the northwest. Uh, where the convective plumes then would become these predecessor convergent bands and then head up toward Louisiana. But another thing that I'm seeing here is that with this more defined inner core, it could mean that rainfall totals have been underestimated uh, by yesterday evening and this morning's model runs, uh, showing just about six to eight inches of storm total precipitation along the Texas coast. But I think that with this uh, better defined inner core, there could definitely be double digit uh, rainfall totals uh, along the Texas coast from uh, Tropical Storm Beta. And if this intensification continues, who knows, maybe even a Category 1 Hurricane Beta could be back on the table before making landfall uh, down near the Port Lavaca area, maybe a little further northeast than that. And then that northeastward turn happens after landfall just inland, and that northeast turn uh, could bring uh, and prolong uh, the heavy rainfall across the Houston area, which is an incredibly uh, flood-prone zone. And uh, there, you're already getting uh, winds becoming more onshore uh, with that center forming further west. So I think that there's going to be a more substantial storm surge to locations like the Boulevard Peninsula, up through Cameron Parish, well to the east. Uh, this is such a large circulation that that onshore flow piles up the water, and these low-lying areas are already getting flooding well in advance of the arrival of, uh, of Hurricane Beta. So as I'm watching this organize on satellite, I'm uh, considering uh, an intercept and uh, heading down to the Texas coast. But certainly one thing we're seeing this early afternoon is a substantial organizing trend evident on radar and on satellite. Uh, going back to the radar imagery, I'm, I'm really patiently awaiting the uh, arrival of the Hurricane Hunter aircraft data to see if this thing is intensifying and to see if those pressures are dropping. Uh, but, but on radar, here you can see where those overshooting tops are located uh, out here. Uh, those are showing up on high resolution satellite. And this radar and satellite imagery is on the Radar Omega app. Uh, this is what I'm using, using the tracking tools as well on this. And uh, it does look like that eye wall is expanding just a little bit, which would hint that maybe that strengthening uh, trend was rather temporary. But we're just going to have to see if the dry air that is inevitably going to wrap into this circulation is going to win out over this organization trend or if beta can actually carve out a pocket of uh, favorable environmental conditions for intensification within that dry air here's the official hurricane center track showing a 60 mile an hour uh, tropical storm all the way up until landfall uh, but again uh, latest hurricane and radar trends appear to be showing a much more organized tropical cyclone that is vertically stacked and uh was wobbling off to the west-southwest and now appears to be moving almost due west very, very slowly, however. Uh, now that that center has jumped off to the west underneath that convective core, it looked like it may have been moving much faster, but really that was just a center reformation. And uh, this is likely going to move very slow on approach to the Texas coast by tomorrow afternoon or evening. So I still have plenty of time to decide if I should intercept this storm or not. And I'm going to likely do many more of these live briefings leading up, uh, but it does look like it is intensifying, and I'm definitely considering an intercept. So thank you, everybody, for tuning into this, and uh, I'll continue with these live briefings uh, leading up, and I'll also continue to uh, keep you updated on my storm chasing plans. But if this strengthening trend continues during the day today, then I'll definitely have to reactivate storm chase mode, but I'll keep you updated no matter what. Thanks and uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday.